Hello family, once again you welcome to Amuko's channel. I am Amuko and of course today I am in one of the biggest fishing communities in Freetown, Sierra Leone and it's called Tombo Community. This is where actually 70% of the catches, the fish that is sold in the local market comes from. And if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, comment and smash that notification bell because we're going to grow this channel together. Peace. Yes, guys, I am actually uh, finding my way through now to the exact spot where the wharf is. That is exactly where I'm heading towards now. And uh, you can see it's quite an amazing community and it's like uh, fascinating, you know. So I'm actually finding my way through now, you know. I cannot actually say for certain where the uh, where the community is, but from here now you can see there are, there are fishes all around. I just have to find my way where the wharf is and where the fishes have been caught. So I don't know. Let me check through here. Let me check. Through. Good morning. Yes, guys, uh, this is not the exact spot where the, the wharf is. This is like uh, at a place where the fish is being smoked and where it is ready to be marketed, you know. And this is the marketing spot. I have to find my way through now where the fish is being caught, where the boat actually slam, and where uh, people actually go for the raw fish, which is currently caught from the sea. So I have to find my way through. So I'm finding my way through now. I don't know where the, the fishing wharf is actually located, but I think it's somewhere around here. Ah, it seems it down there, so I have to find my way through. And that is exactly the fishing spot where the fish is being so I will have to find my way through now. It's kind of but yeah, we can make it through. You can see. Uh, the are being freshly caught. You can see. This just came from the sea. It's been freshly caught. So we have to dive in there and see actually where it comes from, right? Good morning. See, uh, the fish are actually telling me there is no ice and the fish is about to go bad. You see, they are saying there is no ice and the fish is almost about to go bad. And this is a common problem around the world affecting the people around the world. So, guys, uh, this is the community. Uh, all these boats you are seeing, it's like this is the biggest fishing wharf, local fishing wharf in Freetown, Sierra Leone. But it seems the people here, uh, the fishermen here, are being deprived in the sense that uh, uh, there is no viable uh, uh, call room here. In the, the fish women, the fishmongers here, we are complaining that like uh, the fish was going bad in the sense that they have no ice and there is no no call room. The only option they have is to smoke the fish, and all the fish are not meant to be smoked. As you can see now, this is the few ice the fishermen have to. Uh, to preserve the fish. You can see the constraints these guys are going to. It's so hectic, you know, because it is a hard work, you know. The guys undergo a whole, a whole lot of struggle here. And let me come closer for you to see. You see this, they go for a whole night, you know, and they have to come in the morning in order to, to have a catch. And when that fish comes, the fishermen too have to bite with certain amount and then it gets into, into the market. Where you go now to buy, so it's a whole lot of chain work because these guys go in the morning, in the evening, sleep there in the cold, they come in the morning, the fishermen come, buy the fish, they get it to the market where you go comfortably and buy the fish, not knowing where the constraints actually come from. It's there. The bigger work is out there, you know, where they go at night and, and do this. So, uh, 
Some of the borders are supposed to be I was asking them, what is this? Guys, 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 you can imagine it's logical that if you don't have eyes, you cannot preserve fish. And so, because of eye scarcity, man, yeah, the boats cannot go out because it will be a fruitless neighbor. It's like going there and coming with a rotten fish. So, that is why actually they are sitting. You can see the boats are all being packed because there is no ice. And you cannot go to sea for three days catching fish without an eye. So, the fish will go rot, it will get rotten. I was informed that uh, an ice supply vehicle just arrived. And so I need to check it out. There seems to be a scramble for ice. Uh, this is a scramble for ice. The wife is short of ice. This vehicle is owned by a private company that produces ice and sells it at the different wharves around Freetown. And usually, the ice it supplies uh is not enough for the community for the fishing wharves you know especially tumbo here there is always a shortage of ice the truth is demanding ice here is not about the willpower it's about you being lucky because you might have the money and still not access ice But as I told you, there is a serious crisis here, a serious problem here. There is no ice. There is no ice plant here. So that being the case, the fish all has to go rotting. So I just spoke to the fishermen out there. They have been sitting here for about three days without going out at sea because they have no ice. You cannot just go out there without having an ice. It will just be a fruitless labor. So you can see, you know, you can see this, you know, it's very big, you know. You see this? Uh, it's a big fish. Yeah, all around. All around. You know? You see this? You see? No ice. Come on. You see this? This is a serious crisis here. And this fish is about to go rotten, you know? Because. There is no ice. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you see this? this is all these are being caught here. But I tell you, the problem is there is no ice. Yes, guys. Uh, this is actually the, uh, the harbor master here at Dubai. I was looking for him when I found him. I just found him. I see where the lights are. Very fast. He is Alusan Bangua, the master of the fishing harbor at the Tumbu Fishing Wharf, and he is reiterating the same crisis no ice. Yes, guys, I. 
I am on my way now to where uh, the fish are being smoked, where I can find smoke. This is the biggest market for smoke fish. And as you can see all around, when there is no ice over there, this is alternative. You just smoke the fish, but it's becoming difficult that uh, there is no ice out there, and not all the fish is meant to be smoked. So you can see all around there, uh, the smoked fish is being sold. And this is where you come when you want a smoked fish. Ah, you see this? This is a serious one. All the fish is like that, and it's like uh, the is being blessed in the sense that uh, there is fish all around. But when it comes to promoting the wife and giving it the, the right equipment that it's needed as a wife, it's becoming a problem, a serious problem. You know? And uh, I'm scared that that is what causes a, a fish scarcity out there in the market. And you see this, a very a big fish and a delicious one. You, know? you just feel like eating this. That's what you know. I see it. I'm actually not here to, I think I'm here to buy the fish, but I'm actually not here to Everyone wants me to buy their fish. I'm not here to buy fish. I'm actually not here to I don't know how to Catfish. Everyone wants me to buy their fish, but uh, I'm actually not here to buy fish. There's a big fish, a catfish. You know. I am going now to... <laughs> So we are, uh, it's smoking actually takes place, it's kind of serious, but uh, ah, okay. my guy said this is the way. Yes guys, I am actually at the this fish smoking facility here. You can see that this is uh, that this is actually where uh, the fish are uh, being smoked. Uh, uh, you can see that is the fish being covered there with corrugated pan. This is a fish. You can see this is a fish. And there is a smoke popping up. And the hair, here again, these are all fish, you know. You can see there is fire. There is fire under there, you know. So it's a tedious work, a very serious one, but yeah, these are constraints the people go to here and out there. There is no, there is no ice, you know, because this scramble for ice when uh, when a vehicle comes and ice supply comes, you have to scramble because to access the ice is a difficult thing. You may have the money, but the availability of the ice is another crisis. So it's difficult. It's it's a serious crisis out here. This is the. Already smoked fish. Good morning. Fine, fine. So this is done now, eh? See, this is already been done. This has already been smoked. It's ready now to be marketed, but it's usual that they undergo a whole lot of constraints in order to get the fish at this stage, you know, because you have to buy the wood. After buying the fish, you have to buy wood and the the rigorous task it entails in smoking this fish, you know. Sometimes the women have to pay uh, someone who can do the job. It's kind of difficult, you know. Where's the fish? 
fish. The fish. Is it in there? Nobody tell me the Atlantic is it inside it today. Ah, the fish is in there. It's a fish that is a that is actually in there. She's waiting now for the fish to get smoked. You see the the constraints the women go through in order to process the fish and take it to the marketplace. It's for to get that is why basically the fish out there is uh, somehow expensive because when you consider the constraints you go to out here before it gets to the market where you comfortably buy it, it's kind of amazing, it's kind of serious, you know. So sometimes we need to blame these people less, you know, because they undergo a whole lot of struggle in order to get there. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Are you are you the one in charge here? So are you what's what do you do here? Are you being paid? Do you mean pay you individually or how? How do you do it here? A week. How week? They pay you per pay you per week? No, I'm the one that pay you per place week. Oh you the one who owns this place? Who owns the place? It seems you are making a lot of income here, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that is what it takes when you work harder. Yeah, yeah you, you see more. Like you gain something, yeah. Because I tell you again, this work is not easy, you know. It kind of is very hot in here. But how do you get along with the women here? Sometimes do you want to do the do the fish go bad in your hand? It's not actually easy, but you know, sometimes we just have to manage you know, because there is no way for us to do you know. So this is the only way for us to survive, to sustain our family. Okay, you have problems with the women sometimes. It's not easy for me to have problems with the women because like, this is my job. Okay, you so know how to handle, how to go about with them. I know how to handle the situation. Okay. Even if, if I call someone, yeah. I know how to handle the person to come out in school. You know, to put him down to understand this. He is the nature. man that deals with the women in here because is this the only uh, smoking facility here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, no, we have so many side here. Okay, but, but here, most popular side. Okay, most popular here. Okay, okay. So he handles the smoking process here. He's the boss here. Uh, so yes, guys, I am in another uh, smoking facility. So I'm about to get in now. Yeah, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, yeah. Uh, are you the one in charge here? Exactly, sir. But it seems there is no smoking going on here. No, there is smoking. There is smoking. Yeah. Ah, let me show you. So it's kind of different here. Different here. Okay. Wow. So you see here, this is the. Antuna. Antuna. Yes. Call this, okay. They call this the Antuna. This is another smoking facility. But it's kind of a... When you get in here, you will not be aware that there is a process, a smoking process going on because it's very cool in here. I don't know, probably because uh, uh, these ones are not being lit. You exactly. Know, uh, so. Yeah, these ones are not being lit. So yes. it's kind of cool in here when I came in. I exactly. didn't... I wasn't aware that... Uh, the process is going on except that he told me oh yes there's a process going on but you will not know until i show you and of course now i believe that so uh how do you go about this here with the women and a whole lot of stuff is it a difficult task how do you get yeah, along with them yeah it is difficult you know, okay. because you know we are there are so many people you yeah. know everyone that is own is our own behavior okay you know, so you know you have to as a leader yeah. You have to be, let me see, sometimes you have to be moderate, moderate okay. flexible. Okay. Sometimes you have to be hard. Very hard. Yeah. 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 Sometimes yeah. they break the law. There are rules and regulations. Yeah. They break it. They break the law. Yes, yeah. because most of us, are, our brain are stagnated. Okay. When they say A, we believe that it is A. It is A constant. So, yes, it constant, like, okay. like, 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 like not a flowing water. Okay. Yes. So, so, you have to spin around. Be part of them okay. and know their problems. Study them. Yeah. You know, you study men and things every day when you are doing this kind of job. Definitely so. So it's like you've got a whole lot of experience here, and you understand the people you are dealing with. Exactly. So you understand the job better. So how long have you been here? Um, let me say January 16. Maybe about five years. I've been in Tumbo. In Tumbo. Yes. Ah. You see, but um, I met some other guys. You know. 
some are some are, are younger than me. They, they, they knew the job, yeah. But you see, there are some things that something that that, that is too good in life, you know. We are standing see, by the fire. But see, guess what? Uh, we can uh, endure. Uh, when 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 you uh, let me say you have the basic education, yeah, it helps you a lot. Okay. Well, I didn't do biology in school. I, I read biology. Okay. But I do most of health science because I want to know about myself, the human body. Okay. That's me. Eh? Yeah. So, and, and apart from that, I, I did geography and marine resources. Wow, this is a, so a sort of fishes. intellectual uh, being here in the, in the WAF, an intellectual in the WAF community smoking fish. But guess what? In life, you don't... You don't have too many alternatives. You choose, you, you deal with what comes your way, you know, because if you're about making too many alternatives, too many choices, you know, you're bound to make mistakes. So you take what life throws at you. And that is exactly what this brother did, you know. He's out here now. He's having the little that he can. And he's the owner of this facility, overseeing this facility. So how long have you been in the in this particular uh, business? Yes. Oh, business. Let yes. me see. Yeah, in 2017, I came here. My brother, my, my yeah. younger brother, brought me here. Okay. I was uh, in McKinney doing teaching at RC school. Okay. But you see, you know, offline school, you know, the payments. You see, always backlog, back, backlog, back. Okay. So I decided. You was a teacher. I knew, I knew, about, I knew about teachers. You see, he so, he so I came down here. He was a teacher. Uh, okay. In McKinney. Uh, it's a big town in the northern province of Sierra Leone, in the northern part of Sierra Leone. Yeah. It's a big town there. He was once a teacher, the, a teacher there, but uh -huh. due to the uh, experiences, the bad experiences in the teaching field, he decided to switch over, you know, but the experiences there too. He's still a teacher. Once a teacher, he's still a teacher, you know. So he's there now. So how do you... Uh, how do you juxtapose? How do you compare the teaching and this in terms of income? You know. Well, let me say, in, in, in everyday life, yeah. let me say, life is a risk. Yeah. You see, there are, there are nothing easy in life. Yeah. Nothing come easy, you go easy. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So let me say, the community needs people to do this type of job. Okay. You get me? Yeah. And in life is. And the community also needs teachers. Yes. You see. Everybody has his own works of life. Yeah. As long as you are sustainable to sustain your, your, life. your life. Give us this that delivery is only you don't have to carry cars, houses to heaven if you believe that it's a heaven. Yeah. Get yeah. me? Yeah. So you have to work because you are alive. You are alive. Yes, man. So I find, I mean, it doesn't matter what you do, right? I believe that I have, uh, I'm getting my, my livelihood and my family. As long as it is legal. Yes. Although it affects because the carbon monoxide which ah, you know, oh, comes affecting you. Oh, yes. So you have to. To, to the there are risks associated to wow. it. Wow. But uh, it's, the work makes me easier because you see, you have to be focused. So, are you telling me this brings more income for you? Eh? This brings more income than the teachers? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, because so, I don't have to sit down and wait for payment. Yeah. You see, so this, so you see, this is my office. They, they come and meet me. See, I tell him I want. I, I told him that I want this, this job. One, I want this over the teaching job. Now, he the prefers job. this to the teaching. You know. Now, let me show you this one. He prefers this job to the teaching job. You see. Let me show you this one. Eh? Yeah. I not only this our local uh, 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 drying. Okay. You see. I I process this for people like that and, that are going uh, uh, abroad. Okay. America, London, Belgium, and so on and so forth. Okay. 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 Now you're talking about this one. This is a seasoned fish. This is the barracuda, which we call puta. Now, look this is already beach. season. This is to be taken to yeah, 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 yeah. This is to London uh, uh, and Britain. This is for Britain. You see, see, I think taken off the booms, everything. All you see, guys, you see, if you, and if you are out there, and, the, Maggie's and so on, season you want to process yes. fish, a smoke fish out there, fish to carry out, you, you can contact this man. Just check on my, my channel, and I will get on to him. He can do it very well for you. you see? So, all of these lies, you see, all those ones are for. Sometimes we have the one that we do business in America. Those I mean, we call this, we call this I bridge. I bridge. Yes. Oh. This, one, this is the I bridge. So, so you guys, yes. this he's this educating me now. These are yes. high bridges. Yes. You know. This one, yeah, we rented it to the new men. Yes. Okay. They they try for themselves. Yeah. They try for themselves. They pay us for this, which is twenty thousand. Okay. But they are brought their fishes to dry. Okay. Get me? Yeah. After that, they pay us at twenty thousand. Because this is a project. Yeah. They have the artisanal office at near the station. 
Yes, the guy is the management. Yes, that's how responsible for all these things. That's how it's, it is not easy. Oh. Yes, it takes most of your time. Sometimes you don't even have time for so yourself. This is called hybrid. Yes. Okay. Yes. How about that one? This is the antuna. The antuna. It okay. has its its shells. Its shells. Okay. Its shells. Yeah. It's a, a train line, like a train line. Okay. See, like, like one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You understand it? This the, this first. Let me show you. This first one, two, three. Get me? It drain the water from the fish. Four, five, six. We started giving the fish its color. Its color. Okay. Yes. And six like this. Mm. This one, two, three. Yeah. Right. Or like how do you how do you get the fish in there? By is it by how how which one? When you have to let me tell you one thing. You have to study every uh, fish as its own water. Ah. Or habitats, yes. okay. you get me? Mm. And you can see a, a bigger fish, yeah. but it, it doesn't have a, 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 so much water, water body, okay. or body with so many water, okay. too much water, too much water. Okay. Get me? But a little fish like like bunga yeah. has heavy water. Okay. You get me? So everything is on your mind. Okay. Get me? Only good experience. The experience on your mind. You know the type of food, the type of fire, okay. the type of heat wave because the heat wave is rotating round, 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 yeah. round, up. Okay. You see, just put your hand there, you find out there is more heat. Oh, see? wow, guys. See, yeah, yeah. it's heat. Yeah, yeah. Yes. it's very hot. This down is just to drain okay. the water. You, see, the fish. you have to know more about fish. Wow. Their names, where they reside, they are, they are seasonal, you know, the time they come in abundance, the time they, they, are, they are licious. So you also work here at night, I can see. Yeah, 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 at night. You see, sometimes this yeah. uh, uh, overseas fish yeah. have to be here at night. You see, because uh, you, you don't have to link with so much with this, our local, yeah. because of the smoke, too much smoke. Okay. You see, that's why I'm trying, deciding to say, um, if I have any chance, I have to be. Simple, simple like this for the overseas. Yes. Okay. That's what you say. I'm just thinking about writing. writing and that fish here is barracuda, eh? Yeah, this is the fish they call kuta. Kuta. Yes, it's one of the most expensive fish. Yes, kuta in Spanish, kini. Yes, yeah. So the scarce. Have you ever been out there No, 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 no. I don't like water. I don't like okay. swimming. I don't know how to swim. Okay. I hate water because there are no branches. See. <laughs> this is your area. This is my own area. Yes. Yeah, and you are good in it. I can yes. see. Yes. I have an experience. You have to study. You see, when I came here, the people, the old people, they used to to dry this fish with the bones. Yeah. Get me? Yeah. So it takes a lot so to is, penetrate. Uh, this is it, the yes. The eat, the eat to penetrate this flesh and meet the bones. So it makes the fish too strong that when you have to cook it, you have to soak it one, two, three days. So all the proteins will go. Yeah. Then what are you eating? And you are finding protein. Yeah. So we decided yeah. to make it, yes, 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 we make it rather dry. You can eat it this way if you want to, to soak. Yes. Few. Yeah. Yes. And you need water too to, to, to cook. Yeah. Yes. It's simple. So, so we call it rubber dry. Yes. Just for the so, guys, we've learned a lot here from this man, you know. He knows his, his stuff. It's, it takes someone who observes keenly to understand what he's doing. And he seems to be that sort of man. And he was very receptive when he came. He was like, uh, have this sort of uh, understanding that, come on, this is your job, just come in. And he just lets me in. And I came in. And we've learned a whole lot of things. The name of the things, the equipment there, and stuff. So and that is it for today's edition. Thank you for being. Hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, well, I didn't know your name. My oh man, I am Amuko. If you do you, uh, you check on YouTube, you watch YouTube videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have yeah. my channel there. You can check okay, it out. Okay. Amuko, Amuko, Amuko. Yeah, you can just write it here. Okay, Amuko. Amuko. A M U K O U. A M U K O U. Yes. Subscribe. Do subscribe to the channel. M U K O O. Yes. I'm with you. Yes. YouTube. Yeah. Yes. My own name is um, Biku Stevens. Biku Stevens. Yes. Biku Stevens. It's not a false sex. My name Biku. That's Biku. your name. Yeah, Biku Stevens. Biku Stevens. Are you a uh, Yeah, I'm part. 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 Part.
but I was brought up in the crew from my grandfather and my mother's section. I was a crew man. Wow. Yes, it's, no wonder this from my little people. Yes, I attended the Methodist West High School. Okay, brother. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, yeah. Okay. Amuku. Amuku, yeah. <laughs>